Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Just a quick little video this morning to show Jason Crocker of the Crockers a few framing tips before it's too late. He's building a little tiny house out in the wilds of Oklahoma and there was a detail that he probably should know. Well, we'll start with that detail. It's where the walls come together here. You have a top plate, which is what the studs are connected to, and then a tie plate that is on top of that. That's why they're double like that. And this is how, what I saw on Jason's last video, it looked like his, uh, the top of his wall looked like this. And one of them, usually opposing walls, like this wall and this wall here, would be like this. It's set back the width of your studs. So your next wall would come in like this. Once you have this wall and this wall up, you can slide this wall and tip it up in between them. And then you cap it off like this. And that ties the two walls together. This is called a tie plate. It's pretty important. I would, on the wall you made already, I would just cut it back uh, five and a half inches. Next, we have, well, actually this is framed out for a door and then just covered over. I'm going to open this up later, at, you know, a year or two and put a door there. But this is the exact same thing. And I have a window in here, temporary. Once I take this out, I'll be able to put a door in here as well. But this is how the doors are normally framed. And with two by sixes, or uh, with two by six construction, your main studs here, if you have a header here and a header on the outside, you can fill that gap with foam so you don't have an insulation break right there. I guess yours is fine. You can fill the inside of that, but that's generally how it's done. And then lastly, on the windows, these new construction windows have a flange on the outside and they're connected right to the stud. So they don't put any weight at all on this sill. So the sill doesn't have to be anything special. It doesn't have to be all built up. This sill is on a, on a five, oh, not a five degree. Yeah, it is on a five degree angle from here out so that any water, any condensation will drain out the bottom. But on top, because I have a roll of windows, I have a massive header. This is an LVL then foam, and then another LVL just like it. Yeah, these were pretty crazy to get in place. If you watch that video, it shows you how to, how to maneuver something like this by yourself. Um, it's actually fairly easy. And then the last thing is the hurricane straps. I know you have some, and don't forget them on your rafters or your trusses, whatever you put up there. Okay. I think that's about it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the update icon. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps us out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.